Hi friends, we are now in week 3 of the Amigurumi Basic Shape series. After making a cone last week, we are going to crochet a cylinder this time. I've named this one Jolie Cylinder. I think it suits them well, they look happy and joyful. These are the materials you will need. Any yarn and hook of your choice. I'll be using yellow DK yarn and a 3mm crochet hook, stitch marker, yarn needle, scissors, some filling of your choice, scrap of dark brown and light yellow yarn for the face embroidery. First we start by creating a magic ring. I'll be linking some slow motion video tutorials in the top right hand corner throughout this video in case you need extra help. Round 1, 6 single crochet in magic ring. I hope you all have been well. We are up to week 3 now. We completed kawaii sphere and stank coin and I hope you are joining me to make jolly cylinder. I'm grabbing my stitch marker to mark the first stitch in round 1. Marking the stitch will make it easier for us to see the first stitch once we tighten the magic ring. Tighten the magic ring here by pulling the end tail. We are going to join the live stitch to this first stitch to begin our round 2. Round 2. Do 6 invisible increase. We will end up with 12 stitches at the end of the round. To do invisible increase, we first do single crochet on the front loop only, then we do single crochet on both loop of the stitch. I've linked step-by-step -step invisible increase tutorial on the top right hand corner if you need more help. Grab your stitch marker to mark the first stitch in the round. We're going to start increasing to make the round shape. We just completed the first invisible increase, 5 more to go. Invisible increase. If you are still here, please link and share this video to help the channel to grow. Thanks friends! Invisible increase. Invisible increase. Invisible increase. Invisible increase. Round three. Invisible increase, single crochet. Repeat this sequence six times in total. We will have 18 stitches at the end of the round. Grab your stitch marker to mark the first stitch in the round. That's our first invisible increase done. Working on single crochet next. Now we are going to repeat Invisible increase Single crochet Invisible increase Single crochet Invisible increase Single crochet Invisible increase Single crochet Invisible increase, single crochet. Round 4, single crochet, invisible increase, single crochet. Repeat this sequence 6 times in total. We will have 24 stitches at the end of the round. Mark the first stitch using stitch marker.
invisible increase single crochet single crochet invisible increase single crochet and so on Round 5, invisible increase, then 3 single crochet. Repeat this sequence 6 times in total. We will end up with 30 stitches at the end of the round. Mark the first stitch using stitch marker. I'm going to fast forward after the first sequence. See you at the end of round 5. Now we've reached the end of round 5. For round 6, we'll be doing 30 single crochet around the back loop only. When we work on the back loop only, it'll create a nice edge finish for our cylinder. We're going to stop increasing and going to start to work on the height of the cylinder. Mark the first stitch using stitch marker. I'm going to fast forward now. I'll see you at the end of the round. If you have a stitch counter, grab it and set it to number 6, as we just completed round 6. In round 7 to 14, we'll be doing 30 single crochet. Mark the first stitch using stitch marker. I'm going to fast forward soon. I'll see you at the end of round 14. Round 15. Back loop only. 30 single crochet. This is the last round before we start decreasing. Mark the first stitch using stitch marker. I'm going to fast forward now. I'll see you at the end of the round. Round 16, invisible decrease, 3 single crochet, repeat the sequence 6 times in total, we'll end up with 24 stitches at the end of the round. So to do invisible decrease, we are going to work on the front loop only. So insert your hook to the front loop of the next stitch, then insert it again to the front loop of the next stitch. You will currently have 3 stitches on your hook, yarn over, then pull 2 stitches through, yarn over again, and pull the remaining stitches. Mark the first stitch using stitch marker. Single crochet. Single crochet. 
single crochet, single crochet and repeat. Invisible decrease, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet and so on. Round 17, single crochet, invisible decrease, single crochet. Repeat this sequence six times in total. We'll end up with 18 stitches at the end of the round. Mark the first stitch using stitch marker. Invisible decrease. Single crochet and repeat. Single crochet. Invisible decrease, single crochet, and so on. Let's stop right here and close our magic ring first. Our yarn is usually already end up inside. Take the yarn back outside. Using our yarn needle, we are going to weave through the top stitch only and then put the needle through the beginning hole. Pull slightly and the hole will close seamlessly. Lift the remaining thread inside. Stuff with filling of your choice. Round 18 Invisible decrease, single crochet, repeat the sequence 6 times in total. We'll end up with 12 stitches at the end of the round. Mark the first stitch using stitch marker. Single crochet and repeat. Invisible decrease single crochet, and so on. Round 19, six invisible decrease. This is the end of the round. Pull the yarn through and leave enough tail for seaming the hole. Weave through the front loop of the stitch only. Then pull, put the needle through the middle hole, exit anywhere in the body, insert the needle through the stitch next to it, exit anywhere, do this a couple of times to secure the stitch.
cut remaining yarn. Using the back of the needle, push the remaining yarn back inside the body. It's embroidery time. I'm going to use some stitch markers to help mark the location of the eyes and the mouth. The eyes are three stitches wide and located four stitches from the top. For the mouth, go two stitches down from the eye location and two stitches wide. As for the right eye, leave three stitches wide gap from the left to the right eye. Using yarn needle and a dark brown yarn, we're going to start with the right eye. Insert the needle from the inner to the outer right eye, exactly in the same location where you have marked them. Insert the needle back to the beginning spot and exit two stitches high right in the middle. Pull gently. Put the needle under the life thread. This will create that curved smiley eye shape. Insert the needle back through the exact same spot and exit to the inner left eye. We're going to repeat this for the left eye now. We are also going to use the same method for the mouth but the stitches will have smaller gap in between so we can create a smaller curve shape. To finish off, we're going to exit at the exact same location where we first do the right eye. Tie a couple of knots. Insert the needle back at that exact same spot again 
and exit anywhere in the body. Cut remaining yarn and use the back of our needle to stuff the remaining yarn back inside the body. Moving on to the cheeks now. Using light yellow yarn, we're going to do two stitches wide gap for each of the cheek. I want the cheek to be more prominent, so I'm going to go over the stitches twice. To finish off, use the same method as the eyes earlier. Embroidering the face is optional as always. I'll be creating an in-depth tutorial on the face embroidery later on. I'll be doing this once I finish creating our last shape next week the cube. As always, have a beautiful day. Take care my loves and I hope to see you in my next video.